We're being invited to the margins not to kind of sweat blood, but that's where the joy is. That's why we're being invited there. This place wants to stand against forgetting that we belong to each other. You know, because at the root of all that's wrong with the world is uh, kind of born of this notion that there just might be lives out there that matter less than other lives. I walked through those doors maybe weighing 85 pounds. I could not get off of heroin. And I could not stay out of prison until they took my child from me. DCFS. And those people were not the enemy. But the willingness of knowing that Father G was here waiting for me, you know, he said, you have, you have a job here, you have people that love you, you have people that are going to take care of you, you know, you have to be willing to do it. And if my brother's deaf, it sucked that the addict had to die to save another addict. For people like myself, for the homies and the homegirls who have lived a life of suffering, lived a life of no support, lived a life of, of abandonment, this here is heaven on earth. If you want to create a community of tenderness, because the highest form of spiritual maturity is tenderness, you know, and so if love is the answer, community is the context. So thank you, Father Greg, for teaching us to embrace our pain, to comfort it, to soothe it, so that we can trans transform it, and I love you. Thank you. And he kept his promise. Uh, he said the minute I deal with my drug problem, that he will give me a stepping stone to get my life back on track. I was with the zombies, the vampires, and all that, man, in the streets. And, you know, yeah, I came and met G, and everything came alive, man. Yeah. I think of Dorothy Day, who said, you know, we've all known the long loneliness, and the only solution is love, and that love comes in community. They shower us with this love every day. Here, we, they teach us. We teach one another that we are worthy, we are deserving of, an, of, a, of a good way of life. If there's anything that I can do in this lifetime is to continue to demonstrate to the world that change is possible. Check this out, homie. I figured out the antidote that has helped me. Let's see if it can, let's see if it can work for you.